Okay, hey guys, I know it's been a while. Uh, I apologize for not being on in a bit. I will be coming on, hopefully, touch wood, to do some bath bombing or something to the effect, um, depending. But right now, it is... <gasps> What's in the box? What's in the box? Mm -hmm. And this box is from... Amazing Color Solutions. Ooh, exciting. Let's have a look. Shall we see? I was going to do this live, but our internet is too stupid. And our cable and all that, everything is glitching. Ever since somebody did something, I won't say what, but... It seems like cable's messed up, internet's messed up. Whoa! My tablet... I was having a little bit of flack um, with regards to that video. Um, I never said who the person was that was complaining about the staining, um, which that's not my style. I'm not going to put anybody out there because, I mean, obviously people have different bathtubs made of different material, and you guys all know that I test everything. Like, rigorously, I'll do it in my sink, but I'll also do it in my tub. <clears throat> and I do it to show you guys, like, um, its performance, how it's, you know, how it works in the tub, uh, if it stains your skin, how it feels on your skin, if it stains your tub. Unfortunately, I don't have a fiberglass tub to test these things in. And when this person had said there was staining, it wasn't like you guys would imagine, like, when my tubs have stained before. Like, I've had things stained, specifically a red, which is no longer being sold. Um, and I did a a blue lake number two that I was testing which we can't use because it stains but when I think of a stain I think of like the whole color being in, or the whole tub being in a discoloration right like the color of the dye or whatever well in this case it was like as if someone had you know when you use a lake and they sometimes think at the bottom little specks of color well that's kind of what it was like but when you touched it it smeared and it literally looked like someone had drawn on this charcoal and when they went to wipe it mind you was a wet a dry cloth just trying to wipe it off it wouldn't come off but like I said I told people um, prima, a paint, you make a paste of prima tartar and white vinegar and I mean like um, just your you know your everyday plain old compliments white vinegar um, make a paste make a paste Put it on a sponge and then you just kind of smear it all over your tub and then you can rub it with spots that won't come off and whatever. Ideally is don't, you know, smear it around your tub, but it can happen. It will come off. That's not a stain, it's just sort of a mark. But anyways, yeah, so I had a, a bit of an issue with a bomb. Actually, apparently it was two bombs, which, um, like I said, I guess it has to be the purpose fiberglass tub because, uh, there was no oxides or anything like that in my bath bombs because I don't do it. But like I said, if any of you, even people who make bath bombs, you guys need to maybe put a warning or maybe have a little list of something that says if you happen to get marks in your tub, this is how you remove it, blah, 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 blah. But anyways, I've kind of been a little bit down about that, so, you know. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Look at that. I love it. See, now this is so professional, so nice. Can you guys see that? Comes with pamphlet on all the colors. So this might be an idea to actually put in your bath bomb. Maybe write something down about possible you know, possibilities of stainage, um, maybe the colors you use or whatever, and especially warn people with bleached blonde hair not to lie in the water for extended periods of time because it can, you know, definitely hold your hair, but hey, it's free. <laughs> Kidding. Okay. Oh, thank you, Heidi. 
I got some candy with my rockets, my favorite, and some more little spookies. And oh wow, I can't believe this. Oh my god, I told her that I needed some colors <laughs> that I didn't have. Oh, thank god. Okay, I won't have any issues with these blacks. Oh, I got the new black. I got two of them. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Heidi. Okay, so we got two blacks. We will not have any issues with any black staining anymore. Because I'm definitely not using the other black that I used before. I also asked her for... Oh yeah, the luminous lemon lime. In Canada, we can use this. And she, yeah, two of them. Thank you so much, Heidi. Also, I said to her, I guess she had forgotten, or I guess maybe maybe Roger had. Uh, oh, I love the labels. These are awesome. They're laminated, so you don't they won't smudge. Nice, very nicely done. Anyways, I had mentioned to her the last time when I ordered. I guess Roger, maybe Roger shipped it out. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But I got all the colors, it was beautiful, but I said, she's like, I'll send you some more refills for your jars. And I'm like, I didn't get jars, sorry. I didn't ask for jars, so mind you. So look at, she sent me a whole bunch of jars for my colors. This is awesome. And oh, yeah, keep these. If you guys ever get these, which you should get these, these little silica packs, keep these for your, um, when you store your bath bombs. They are God sent, let me tell you. Oh, I didn't get a key, Heidi. <laughs> That's okay. I have plenty of her keys here. Plus, I have some too. But this is awesome. Thank you. So now I can put my dies where they belong. Because God knows I hate, I hate the bags. But this is friggin' awesome. I love this color. This luminous lemon lime. This, this, this. You probably can't see it so great in here, but I'll tell you, this puts highlighters to shame. Okay, so it looks like I'm not going to have any more issues with staining ever again because I'm using amazing colors instead of the other ones that are so simple. Beauty. Hint, hint. <laughs> that was the ones I had issues with, apparently, if they're going to stain. That was the one that stained. I know the red stained before, so we will not be using those again, so have no fear. While I have you guys on here too, I guess I might as well tell you, I will be probably shutting down for a little while. I can't say when or for how long, but we're going to be redoing the basement. So for now, I do have a little bit of time, so I'll still be doing a couple things. If there's any videos or any things you would like me to make or that you want me to touch on for sure, let me know. Uh, I was thinking of doing... Um, the hand press again because I don't think I showed you guys that maybe what once or twice. I have the moon presses that I don't know if I showed you or not. Um, I've got that really neat uh, beach baller one that I got um, from you know from I can't think oh my god my brain. All I can think of is Bon Bon that's part of her name sorry I'm so sorry and my brain is totally shot today. So I've got that mold. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see like jelly soaps done. Mind you, see I have to watch what I make because I have things that I haven't sold yet. And that's another thing I was going to put out there. The Guest Canada Day is coming up July 1st. I'm going to, or was thinking of doing, I'm going to do like um, a flash sale in Etsy. And it's just basically going to be grab boxes. So it'll be a box of mismatch of stuff so it's like if you guys look there's my surprise box listings it'll be that but it will be on sale so if anybody's interested in having any bombs or anything and like i said um you could say you know let me know for kids or for adults or whatever and then i that way i can tell you or i can um organize it as such like either a kid's box or adult or family or however you want it so and also for Timmy Burger or Gina, whoever was asking me about my hair, this is the real length right here. So this is the real length. It's grown quite a bit. So the extensions that I had on were only about this much longer, but they came from here. So it was the whole thing. But yeah, I'm going to have to go to a hair salon and actually get them to do it perfectly, hopefully. But anyways, guys, I'm going to buzz off here for a minute. Um, please let me know if there's stuff that you want me to do. Because like I said, I need a bit of motivation or at least uh, an idea of what to do. 
and I was thinking of maybe doing a soap at some point too. So I can only do that when the kids are sleeping. He's sleeping back there. You guys can't see it. It's probably too hard, but he's sleeping in his tent, playtime thing. So anyways, guys, I'll talk to you in a while. Don't forget to comment, okay? And if you want to, guys, want to be notified when my live videos come up, make sure to click the bell down below. I'm not sure which side. It'll be this side or this side. And that says subscribe, so we subscribe, but make sure you hit the bell. That will tell you when I go live. Also, I was thinking of possibly going live on Facebook, but that would be more for the group. I mean, I'm sure some of you guys are in the group, but just let me know. Just keep the messages coming. If you guys don't hear from me, I'm still around. Talk to you later.